Hi, and thank you for watching. So for today's video, I just wanted to find something productive to do with all of our newfound spare time. And I thought, why not do something that has to do with self-care? I feel super fortunate right now. I'm healthy. Quarantine is not bothering me at all. I'm a homebody, so there's nothing that's affecting me. And I feel very lucky. And I really feel for the extroverts out there who feel very cooped up. And I just wanted to come up with something that would be a productive way to spend your time. So sometimes spare time can be hard to come by and this is something that I like to do and I try to squeeze this in whenever possible. So I'm going to show you how I um, groom my face. So if you wanna see how I keep my face hairless, then stay tuned. I like to start off my grooming definitely by tweezing. These are tweezers from Anastasia Beverly Hills. My eyebrows, like they are really arched like this, but all this has hair that I have to pluck. When I, my makeup's already done and I have them shaped the way I like, if I see a couple stray hairs, like I'll just pluck them like nothing. But when I'm doing more of like a deep, deep tweeze, I learned this tip from Bobbi Brown. I had like makeup books growing up. I use a white, eyeliner so this is fascinating by mac and this is a really good one because it's very creamy and i just draw underneath my eyebrow the shape that i want to maintain and that will help you differentiate what to pluck and what not to if i just do it freehand especially if i don't have makeup on i can get really carried away and then i'll just pluck my whole eyebrow off and that's no good so you just pluck everything that's in the eyeliner and it's super easy to do when you do this trick and you clean it up you look so clean it makes a world of a difference when my eyebrows are done and clean i feel like it looks like i got a nose job like my whole face looks so much more structured so i just love of using these tweezers to pluck all the hair that's under here. I'm redefining my arch and then cleaning up right here because I get a lot, like sometimes my wing meets up with the corner of my eye brow just from like random strays. I pluck like the really stray hairs up here as well. Just regular tweezing one or two hairs I like to try to do every other day. But this eyeliner trick I like to do every two weeks. So another thing that I like to do, I don't really know what this is called, but this is a tweezerman tool and it's a metal coil that you roll. I like to turn it to where the arrows are pointing toward each other and you just roll it and then the hair gets trapped in here it's almost like threading and it removes your hair it's kind of painful but whatever it's so worth it my sideburns on the natural they go down to about here so this really helps to just roll up all that unwanted hair and it can even catch some peach fuzz on your cheek um, maybe mine is thicker because i have such strong sideburns i'm not sure but i love this tool i do this on my hairline right here just being really careful not to grab your eyebrows because you can if you're not careful i can even get away with using this on the moustache i have some thicker hairs here so you can just roll those as well i love this tool and this guy i like to use once a week so for the hair on my face that's not thick enough to be picked up by the coil not thick enough to be picked up with tweezers i like to use a couple other things so this is nair face cream this i use between my eyebrows and on my moustache so i'm not lucky enough to have a unibrow like for all all of the extra hair on my face, I wish I had a unibrow because if you have a unibrow, you get to decide how far apart your eyebrows are and I think that's so pretty. My favorite person on earth, Megan Fox, had a unibrow and then you can just pluck it so like you can make them as close together or as far apart as you like. I just think for eyebrows, it's easier to take away than it is to add. I have just really thin hair that tweezers cannot pull. So I use Nair and I just put it on here. Um, I use my fingertip and I just apply this right between the eyebrows, make sure to coat all those thin, long hairs. And then I also put this on my entire moustache. I had so much makeup up my nose, oh my goodness. Okay, and I get thicker hair right here, so I definitely put product here. And once you put this on, wash your hands right away, and then you just leave it for 10 minutes. In that time, like that's when I like we'll tweeze the rest of my extra hair on my face, which is like fine things to do. And then just like that, the 10 minutes are up. And then I use wet toilet paper just to wipe it all off of my face. So usually I do this in the bathroom, but for demonstration purpose, I will show you. I just get a wet toilet paper, a couple sheets, and then just wipe, press like pretty firmly. And then 
it'll all get captured on that toilet paper. Then immediately go under the sink and I wash my entire face. I only use it in two spots though. So for the rest of your face, if you have peach fuzz, I think it makes the biggest difference with makeup application is using an eyebrow razor. I have like a bajillion of these from Amazon. So this guy, I can just do all over my entire face. I can bring it right here just to clean up that eyebrow line. I used to use like light, motions to just really lightly and quickly graze your whole face be really careful not only does this get rid of your baby hair but this will also get rid of like the dead skin so it makes your skin afterward feel so smooth your face will feel like it did the day you were born it's so nice you don't have hair on your nose but like i said this will get rid of dead skin so i definitely like to use this all over the nose on the cheeks like i get baby hair right here so i like to use this uh, both directions, which I don't know if that's the best thing to do, but when I'm at my nose, I go outward on this area. And then when I'm doing under my eyebrows, I go downward, light, quick strokes all the way. And I just think it makes the biggest difference. I buy big packs, so I only use a single use. I'd be way too scared to use a dull razor on my face. When you have no baby hair or anything, your makeup applies so much better. Your skin is so much smoother and healthier. It just looks really good. This definitely is something worth doing and it just makes a really big difference. And it's something you can do at home if you're not feeling as cute. I know a lot of people like to go out and get pampered that's not an option right now like you'll feel really good about yourself after you'll look really cute and i just wanted to share so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video